The Wood Shop is sponsored by Chefware Kits with hundreds of items for wood turners. All right, welcome back. Today I'm going to make a kiln out of an old freezer, but before we get started, just a quick safety note that make sure that the freon's been drained out of this before you, you start drilling holes in the side of it. They're, I'm sure they're all different. When I drilled the hole on top here, it went right through a tube, and if it was freon in there, it would have filled the whole shop, and it's not good. So, but we go and look those came with it too so you have a thermometer inside you're gonna need that all right let's get started all right so you need to compensate for the for the bottom of the freezer so I'm gonna come up come up 14 inches here no. get it off the bottom and then leave enough for the, the hole and it's 26 inches so 13 is center Alright, so I drill one on each side, and I'm going to put one in the center, right here. Alright, then on the back side, I'm going to drill an inch and a half hole because all it needs to go through is the wires for the light. Alright, so I'm going to mount this now, and I, I messed up. I should have done that. Uh, three inch too so the wires didn't didn't hit the sides there so I'm just gonna use these little spacers here to keep it off of the off of the metal okay. I'm gonna do that so I'm just gonna drill a couple little pilot holes for that okay now I'm just gonna go ahead and screw it up here I have a 100 watt bulb in there right now, but I may adjust that um, as I go, as I do some tests on it. But that's what I'm going to start out with. The great thing about this project is, when you're not drying wood, you can use it as a sauna. All right, so what I did here was just cut a little disc out on the bandsaw, screwed it on there. Because the climate's different throughout the year and moisture in the air and everything, you can adjust the temperature and airflow simply by opening and closing these. And I put them on all the holes. All right, there we go. Over the next few months, I'll be doing some tests and figure out what ideal temperature and airflow is. But if you made one of these, I'd love to hear from you. See if maybe you had some other ideas, maybe putting a fan or something in it too. That would be, that would be great. Um, as always, thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe and thank you for sharing and liking the video. It really helps out a lot and I really appreciate it. Thanks a lot.